Uveal tract tumors are basically regarded to whether the neoplastic conditions that are arising in the uveal tract. The term uveal tract refers to the iris collectively with the ciliary body and the choroidal plexus. So as the name is indicating, the neoplastic conditions can be benign as well as the malignancies that can arise in all of these uveal tract structures. Over here in this particular lecture, we'll be summarizing the benign as well as the malignant conditions of this kind of ocular tumors. When we talk about in general about these ocular tumors, uh, there is not a quite a good prognostic factor associated with the development of these kind of ocular tumors. Specifically, whenever there is the feature of metastasis uh, associated with this kind of ocular tumors. First of all, we'd be discussing the tumorous conditions of the choroid. The benign conditions mainly include the nevi and we have the hemangiomatous conditions involving the tumors of the vascular structures. On the other hand, we have the melanocytes whenever the melanin producing cells are involved. So whatever the condition is, we should know the clinical features that would be discussed briefly over here in this lecture. And along with that, what are the treatment modalities that are present out there that can be interfered with these kind of conditions. The malignant conditions notoriously are known as the melanomas over here in the choroidal plexuses as well. The examination obviously and the definitive diagnosis is dependent upon the fundoscopic picture that would be discussed and what are the peculiar features that you're going to look for as a clinician whenever you're going to diagnose a patient to be suffering from uh, melanomas. Then we'd be discussing the tumorous conditions of the ciliary bodies. Mainly we group these conditions into benign and the malignant conditions. Uh, primarily we have the hyperplasias, the benign cystic lesions and the medulloepitheliomas. The malignancies over here are the melanomas. Then we have the tumors of the iris that would be briefly discussed over here. The benign kinds include the nevi, the benign cystic lesions as well as the novoxin endotheliomas that would be discussed over here along with the presenting features and the tumorous conditions. The malignancies over here are the same, that is the melanomas concerning the iris. So this is the whole outlay of the lecture. We have a variety of medical lectures on our website. Thank you for watching skyu.com and get access to watch the complete lectures.